morning guys welcome back we are out on tom's permission today loving it absolutely beautiful weather it's been a long while since we've been on here Fi yeah it has mate really? yeah basically a year yeah so we're, we're finally back it's, it's now in stubble so absolutely awesome um we can sort of kill it straight away yeah yeah have it <laughs> yeah, get straight on. Um, it. Yeah, if we're if we're having a bit of a slow time on here, we're gonna go over to your Roman field, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, which is now, yeah. which is now just soil, beautiful soil. Completely turned. Yeah. <laughs> God, that'd be lovely. <laughs> That's been a while since we've been on some of that. Um, but yeah, uh, what was I gonna say as well? I've uh, on Wednesday, so a couple of days after this video goes out, I have hit one year. It'll be my anniversary for my, since my I ever. Round of applause. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, since I first put a video on YouTube of metal detecting, so yeah, I'm uh, I'm really pleased with how it's gone, and we've we've come a long, long way. I'll um, I might even post up the uh, my first ever video. Well, all your best viewed videos yes. got me in anyway. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what we're going to do today, guys, something a little different as well. We're going to do a first uh, ten holes. We're going to quick fire them, so I'm going to speed up the video in between the digging bit and show you the finds. But we're going to show you our first ten holes. Let's Off we go. We right guys, I've got my first signal here. It's coming up about a 19. I can't show you sound by the way because I still haven't got my machine repaired. Speaker's still gone, so let's just I just will just try it. I don't think it will. That's on two for the speakers, you see. So yeah, no, not gonna work. But yeah, I've got a 19, 18, 19. A little bouncy, I think that's on the surface. Piece of lead. There we go, guys. Just a little piece of lead. Nice. That's number one. There we go. Tom's first signal. What's your numbers, mate? 17. 17. 17. There we go. Dig away. Get them legs going. <laughs> He's on it. First signal. Look, he's on a Roman. <laughs> First signal, and you can actually <laughs> on the Roman. That's... Yeah, it's, that's good condition, mate. That. Jesus, man. Give it a little clean. Hold, Hold on. on. I'll uh, come back to you. Right, guys. Tom, uh, the jammy git. <laughs> First signal of the day. Look. Um. Yeah. Roman coin. Look at the detail on that. That's a beauty, mate. What's on the reverse of that? Have we got anything? Is it good on the back? Mm -hmm. There is something there. I did see something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A bit shiny. Oh yeah. There we go. We got two people. I think that's one of those angel ones. You have got mm. two angels facing. Yeah. That, that ain't bad for imagine. First it looked like it? Constantinus. I would have thought. But that is a nice first find. Wicked. That's, that's pleasing. The very. <laughs> nice one, brother. Right, guys, my second signal. So this is signal number three for the day in total. A 28 29, absolutely solid. Hopefully, you can see that on the screen. Or even 30. Not that deep, I don't think, from the sound of it. <laughs> Um, and I've got myself another piece of lead, nice big piece of lead. There you are, signal number three. Signal number four, solid 44, oh well not solid, but jumpy, 44 to 45, 46. Let's dig it, no farrow check on this one. There we are guys, on to our first coin of the day. And it is looking like, I'd say it's facing right. I don't know if you can see that. Look like George III penny, I would have thought. Looking at that. Britannia. Let's get it cleaned up and I'll get you on the other camera. There you go guys, signal number five. And this is Tom's second signal. Let's be happening. 
That's a jetting. It's a jetting, guys. We've got ourselves a jetting. Second signal of the day, mate. You're yeah. on a Roman, then a jetting. Yeah. What on earth, Let's have mate. this. Let's have this today, shall we? Nice. How awesome, mate. That's awesome. What were the numbers on that signal? 22, 22. straight. 22. Yeah. That's a nice little jetting as well. Let's get you straight on the other camera, guys. Here we are, guys. Look at this. Beautiful little jetting. Look at the, d the detail on that. That's a really nice one, that is. Look at that. Absolutely stunning, mate. What a second find yeah, of the day. I'm Tom is on it like a car bonnet today. Yeah, let's do it today shall Wicked, we? buddy. That is that's absolutely nice, awesome. That's a very nice coin, mate. That That is absolutely awesome. Nice. Give it a little bit of a clean Let's up, get on to number six, mate. What's the next one going to be? All right, my next signal, guys, and this is number six. Solid 41, non ferrous. That's that one. Yeah. 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 Piece of can. On to the next one. Right, this is uh, signal number seven, and yeah. Tom's third. Can he make it a hat trick? Let's have it. Oh, another coin is looking like a Roman, mate. Oh, I think it's another Roman guy. Very heavy. Look at it, feeling heavy, is it? Yeah. It's quite a thick Roman coin, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's Roman. I think it's quite perished. I don't know. I don't know. It's got a bit of soil on it, isn't it? I'm going to stick with Roman. I think it's going to be too fresh. Breath smells. Oh. Yeah, look, it is. Look, you can see it. It's a little bit of a crusty one, isn't it? Might be worth a clean up and maybe let it soak for a while, that one, mate, rather than yeah, rubbing it right now. But maybe we'll come back to that later, I think. Might even just do that one on the roundup if we've got it, let it soak and see if we can get some of that crust off it, maybe. Can't say much. But yeah, we'll come back to you on that one, guys. But it is, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a Roman coin, that. Third signal. So he's had Roman, Jet and Roman. Yes. Jam. <laughs> Absolute jam. Nice one, brother. Nice. Thank you. Scrap that, guys. Sorry. Button. <laughs> One of those buttons that gets you. <laughs> you little bugger, you. Yeah, that's a button. That's a little livery button, but it looks like it's a lot. I don't know if you can make that out. It's got a little deer in the middle here. With two little, like, wheat ears, maybe, sort of either side of him. Um, but yeah, button. Looks like a Roman coin. On to the next one. Right, guys. Signal number eight. And my fourth, I think. Can't keep counting like this, but signal number eight anyway. <laughs> solid number 20, a solid 29, mostly non ferrous. <laughs> and we've got ourselves, guys, a little two ring bullet. Look at that. A little two ringer. Be like Civil War, possibly, probably Civil War. Little two, yeah, two ringer. Nice, nice little find. On to the next one. Three twenty-four. Right, we've got signal number nine. Yes. And Tom's four. No. Yes. Four. That must have been my fifth then. That last one was it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Signal number nine. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, that makes me annoying. That's what it looks like. It's a little bit more. Sure, that's the same one there. No? I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna grind it away. Okay, I'm gonna take that. 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 No? That's no, just a chunk of lead. Just a chunk of lead? Chunk of lead. Just a chunk of lead this time, guys. Chunk of lead. That's number nine. Right, number ten, guys. This is a jumpy 19, 20, 21. Totally non fair. Sounds fairly shallow, actually, I think. And number 10 is, is folded up, looking like a piece of lead, I think. Yeah, just a chunk of lead, guys. That's it, number 10. <laughs> Got a signal here, got another lovely 33, totally non ferrous. You can't hear it, but that is an absolutely banging signal, even possibly on the loud side. It could be uh, yeah, it can, but I thought I'd do a live one, it just sounded too good to be. Too good to be true one. Um, and it probably is, but worth a go, isn't it? Where are you? I'm just out here somewhere. Yeah. It's in this little clod here. Probably going to be nothing. Well, I've got plenty of that today so far. Piece of lead. Never mind. Anyway, I guys, just had a lovely little 19. Um, nice piece of thimble. And then Tom's uh, called me over. He's had a complete one. <laughs> what are the numbers on that? Do you know, mate? Do you remember? Uh, a bit higher, I would have thought, wouldn't I? Do you know, I can't honestly remember. No. Forgot the numbers on that one. Yeah. There's the hole for it. <laughs> yeah, that is pushback. Yeah, yeah, complete. Complete thimble and a part of a thimble. Both right next to each other. Well, within a few yards. But yeah. It's nice. Nice. Right, guys, I just had an iffy, very iffy 22. Uh, turns out to be this little piece of buckle, which is quite ornate. Um, sorry if you don't like the sight of blood. Uh, I yeah, caught my thumb on my digging trowel when I was digging earlier. Um, and my holster is broken, which is making it lean forward all the time. So, yeah, caught my thumb. Ouch. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, nice little bit of ornate buckle there. I think I'll get my thumb cleaned up in a minute, I think. <laughs> um, but, yeah, nice. Very nice. Pleased with that. I just had another signal here. Tom's got hold of it. <laughs> it is, I believe, another little Roman. Absolutely tiny little Roman that one. Sorry about my thumb. I keep getting that in the shot. <laughs> Gonna have to clean that up. But yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that's a Roman coin. Can't see exactly what's on there, but pretty certain that's what it is. And look at this land we've got here. Look, beautiful digging. Don't even have to dig anymore. It's all been dug. You might notice we walked across a piece of pasture to get here as well. So uh, that's the reason we were digging plugs on grass. <laughs> I never sort of mentioned, but yeah. Yeah, nice. Little Roman coin. On to the next one. Alright guys, got this one. A solid 34, 35. Um, looking like a musket ball, but I'm not sure about the lines around the outside of it. Unless it's got a bit of a flat edge there, unless it was a bullet. And that's just... That's the shape it's gone, but I've not seen them with those lines around them like that. Seems a bit odd, but yeah, if anybody's got any ideas about those, 
definitely lead, very heavy. But yeah, let me know what you think guys. Well, not, not too far away from that other signal, top of a crotal bell. And I think these little beggars are uh, taunting me today because that's not the first one of those tops of a crotal bell that I've had. I didn't film the other one. If I just get my little... bear with me. Right guys, nice uh, 43 signal here. And we got ourselves a little clod shot. It's looking possibly like a buckle, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. It's a hard old clump. Yes, I think that is. You know what, that looked like it probably had um, stones in it, like little jewels, maybe. Pos a what? Apparel. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> what the old uh, teeth what? <laughs> Looks good, mate. Reflecting that heat, isn't it? Very cool in more than one way. <laughs> but yeah, nice little, uh, probably Victorian, I would have said, with the little, little holes in it where the jewels would have gone. Jewels. Yeah. Nice. Ah, oh dear. <laughs> On to the next one. Right, guys, I just dug one here. I got a 25. Uh, pretty solid. It was a little iffy before I dug it, but it's solid 25 now. And uh, I've got a little edge here. It was barely, barely even dug anything. It was a little right shallow. You can see it's in a clod with a straw still attached, so it's not very deep at all. It even wasn't. But we've got a little edge here. Now, I don't know. Could be wrong. That looks very much like a hammered coin to me. Carefully try. Oh, try and break that off. I think we've got ourselves a little hammered. I think we have. That's been a while. Ah, come on. Come on. Okay. Here we go. Gotta be, hasn't it? I think it is. I think so. It's looking a little different. Um. Yeah, not sure on that yet. I recognise that triangle. Let me just. Uh, I'm gonna have a clean up, and I'll come back to you guys because I don't want to rub this. That might be interesting, that. Yeah. Let's have a little clean up. Holy moly. <laughs> Look at that, guys. <laughs> I think, I'm pretty sure that's an Irish, an Irish penny. And I think that's uh, Robert, I think that's Robert, money of Robert, Robert on, O-N, sorry, D-I-V-E. Is that, Dub is that a, a Dublin? I'm not entirely sure. It could be Dublin. But I think... I'm not 100% sure, but I think that could be a John. I think that's a King John. Possibly, but yeah. What a little fantastic looking coin. Look at that. That is incredible. That side isn't great, but that side is just fantastic. Look at the detail on that. That is wicked. <laughs> That's a day maker. We've really had it hard this afternoon and well that has just well, has just made it. We've had absolutely nothing but shotty ends, lead and all sorts of rubbish. But that has really made my day that. What a coin. Oh, I'm so pleased with that. Absolutely amazing. On to the next one. Believe 
noticed I just had a little 20 uh, no a 32 this one 32 and I just scraped the top away here literally just scraped this loose stuff away and there we are I think well, I'm certain we've got another hammered a little voided short crosslet I've only just the first time I picked that up so wow um, yeah, no idea what that one is. Hen, it's Henry, isn't it? So it's, that could be a John again, that one. That could be another King John. That's a bit of a, again, the bust side is very smooth, but Jesus, two in one day. Crikey. Let me have another little spray up, guys, and I'll, uh, I'll come back on again. Have a little clean up. Right, guys. Uh, yeah, not so bad on the on the bust side at all I think I'm pretty sure that's a John looking at that very crude bust I know they say Henry but the voided short cross is uh, yeah Henry Richard John or Henry the third I think as well I think that's Willem it might be William on I don't know if the money are. William maybe on oh dropped it sorry William on something, it's blank there, so I'm not going to get that, but someone may be able to help me on that one, but I think that's, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a John. It's quite a nice little bust that, actually. What a find. Absolutely incredible. That feeling never changes. Absolutely amazing. On to that next one, guys. I was getting a uh, sort of 30s, 40s signal here, iffy, kind of all over the shop, digging away, struggling to find it, and uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see it, just over there. No wonder I couldn't find it, I'm, I'm sort of detecting over here and I'm picking it up, you see, I was, I was picking up off the edge of it, and that's uh, giving a nice sweet tone. We've got ourselves a little crow bell, I thought it was a rock. May even... May have even just caught that with my spade slightly, I don't know. No, that's that's plow I think, because this has been harrowed, it's been rolled. Um But I think I think that may be complete that. I think it's gonna be a ringer. Which is awesome. I haven't had many of those yet, there's nothing under there. It's looking good. It looks like an old one as well that. I might, just, uh, I might just give that a gentle spray, see if, see if there's any pattern on there. Looks like there might be some detail on the bottom, maybe. But yeah, complete. After finding those two tops today, I think I deserve that one. <laughs> Been teasing me all day with bits of Crotal Bell. But yeah, let me have a little spray up, and if there's anything on it, I'll come back to you guys. Well guys, <laughs> what a day, uh, what a day of ups and downs, uh, it's got really really hot now as well, I've, uh, I've come over and sat in the shade by the trees, uh, unfortunately Tom's had to go, uh, he, had to, he had to get off, so uh, what he's done, he's left me his pot so I can do the roundup, and uh, I'm now heading off the field anyway, but I was a little bit behind him, but uh, yeah, what an awesome day, uh, started off slow this morning, and I have seriously, seriously dug some some junk today, uh, so much lead, uh, shotty ends, all sorts, just just so much rubbish, but um, the goods have come out of it too. Um, I better make this fairly quick because I've got a lot to get through here. <laughs> um, I'd also just like to say thank you to uh, Stephen Pooler. Uh, thank you very much for your donation, mate. I really appreciate it. Um, and anybody who wants to donate to the channel, of course, you can, uh, I've got a little link at the, uh, at the top of my banner there. Um, you can buy Digger Dan a donut. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, yeah, that'd be much appreciated. Anybody who wants to donate, uh, it all goes to a good cause. So, um, it all goes back into the channel, um, buys merchandise and great prizes and things for giveaways and, and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, much appreciated. Thank you very much, Steve. Um, but yeah, let's have a look what I found. 
Well, like I say, what a day. Absolutely incredible. That's some seriously, seriously good uh, detecting. Um, well, it's turned out to be anyway. Like I say, this morning was very slow, but this afternoon for me certainly has picked up. Um, yeah, let's just go through my fine spot there. There's a few bits of buckle there, part of a spectacle buckle, half of that. Nice little buckle there. Big horse tack buckle, I would have thought. And then that one with the little holes in it, which I would have thought would have had gems of some description in. A um, few buttons. Uh, this odd, very odd bronze object. No idea what that's off. Um, yeah, if anybody's got any ideas, I'm not sure. Don't think it's off a sword shape or anything, dagger shape, pommel. No, not sure. If anybody has got any ideas, yeah, yeah, let me know. Um, another piece of buckle there, piece of button, part of a thimble, another button there, a few bullets and musket balls, this little ring. I'm not sure on that whether that was that's just a little harness ring, maybe very small, but yeah, could be. Um, this bronze object, I didn't film this one, but that's a bit of an odd one. Odd shaped. Yeah, not entirely sure. I'm not going to guess on that. Flat on that side, a bit crude looking. But yeah, got a bit of a bulge on this side, as you can see. It's kind of... Yeah, not sure. Not sure on that at all. Um, crotal bell. <laughs> uh, I've got two little pieces, two of the tops. I actually found one. My first ever ringer was one without the top. Um, and it's took me a long, long while to find a complete ring and proto bell, which I found the other week. Um, <laughs> that was off film, actually. I never mentioned that. I actually found my first ever uh, complete ringing crotal bell on a on a little week dig. I had a little sneak afternoon. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I've actually found another complete one today, and hopefully that'll be a ringer. I'm not sure on the markings on that, but yeah, yeah, it's going to be quite nice. That'll uh, tidy up quite nicely, I think. But yeah, that'll be a ringer, I would have thought. Uh, Tom Swines today, he had a complete thimble. A um, few buttons, bullets, musket ball, um, and coins wise, he's got himself a beautiful little jetton. Absolutely stunning that. That's two, two uh, jettons in a row, that is two weeks in a row. But yeah, what a lovely little coin. Um, a little Vicky Bunhead, uh, yeah, very smooth that one. Just about make some detail out there. Oh, there she is, upside down. Yeah, very difficult to see, but um, but yeah, that's a nice little find. There's another coin there, and that is old, I would have said, but yeah, that's really crusty. I'm not sure what that is. And then, of course, his beautiful little Roman coin that he found, um, which is absolutely stunning. Do love a Roman coin, but yeah, you've got the two little, I believe, probably little angels sort of facing each other there. But yeah, what an incredible little find. But yeah, no, he's done really well today. There's some good little coins there and some good good finds. Like that little thimble. We haven't had a thimble for a while, so that's something new, something different. Um, but yeah, and my coins. Um, yeah, look at that. <laughs> what do you say? Two hammered coins. Two hammered coins in one day. And they're both a John, I think. I'm pretty sure they're both Johns, but they are absolutely incredible. Who doesn't love a hammered coin? Absolutely brilliant. I think that might maybe Wilhelm, Willem, maybe William on something. I'm not sh not entirely sure. I could be wrong, but if anybody knows what that is, um, yeah, let me know. Obviously, you're not going to get the uh, the uh, mint off that where it was minted. I don't think, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a John looking at that face, that bust. Um, but yeah, then we got the Irish uh, John as well, which is a lovely little coin. Very different. That's my first ever Irish coin. I've never had one before. Um, I think that's Robert on uh, Denver, I think. Denver? I think I'm sure it was Denver. D-I-V-E, Denver. No. No, I've forgotten. It was something like that. I'll put it up, I'll put it up here anyway now And uh, when I've uh, found out exactly what it is. I think it was Denver sure it was something like that but yeah what a coin that is absolutely beautiful that absolutely stunning um yeah i believe i've got a little roman coin there i can't be 100 percent sure but it's definitely it definitely looks roman um yeah not a lot to go off on that one i'm afraid but yeah and uh i think that was a little george 
George second, uh, George third, sorry, facing right there. Look, yeah, little George third half penny, I would have said. Um, yeah, that was very early on in the day. But yeah, wow, <laughs> what an incredible day, honestly. That is, uh, that's amazing, isn't it? Um, yeah, not every day you come up with finds like those. Uh, not that many, anyway. Yeah, let's have that. Absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy day. Yeah, thank you very much for tuning in again, guys. Um, yeah, really appreciate it. Really appreciate all the support. Um, plenty of subscribers coming in new. Um, yeah, so welcome, guys. Thank you very much for coming along. Really appreciate your support. And uh, uh, a massive thank you to Unearthed as well for sponsoring that little giveaway that we did on the Facebook page. Um, yeah, yeah, it went really well. And uh, the winner of that, yeah, Darren Keane. Well done, mate. Um, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, thank you guys. Thank you very much. And I'll uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.